Good morning, Pastor Mike, Ascension Lutheran Church, Wichita, Kansas. Last week, a word from 1 Thessalonians 3 caught my attention. You may remember it, the word rapidly. At this writing, it's a word from 1 Thessalonians 4. It's at the other end of the spectrum, quiet. You and I live in a noisy era. Some loudness mechanically created by cars and mowers or planes and blowers. Others, more of the mental exhaustion strain, Twitter and Facebook and TikTok and Instagram. We need quiet spaces to hear God's voice. Time to spend listening and conversing with Him in His Word and prayer. Paul's first letter to the ancient church in Thessalonica added another layer of quiet space thought. He suggests you and I be quiet spaces where people meet Jesus. Make it your ambition to lead a quiet life. You should mind your own business and work with your hands just as we told you so that your daily life may win the respect of outsiders. A quiet life, per Paul's words, means paying special attention to your own life, similar to Jesus' words regarding specks and planks. It includes not being judgmental, and being judgmental does not mean that you do not judge at all. There is still right and wrong. Judgmental has a hypocrisy as part of its meaning. Not placing yourself over others, not causing conflict unnecessarily. It also involves working, not expecting others to serve you or provide for you, especially when you are able to provide for your own well-being. Such a mindset creates respect in others' views of you which leads them to be more open to your thoughts, more willing to be a part of your life, more wondering about the peace around you and in you. Not, you're not taking, you're giving. Calm, compassion, confidence, Jesus' character becoming yours. Such is the outcome of, outcome of spending quiet time with Him. He's making you into a quiet place for others. Blessings on your week.